Hey everybody, so today we're making up the Lego Police Station. This is set number 10278. As you can see, there's 14 bags included in this, uh, along with some plates. This is the size of the booklet. Make sure you scan the front of the barcode. There's 293 pieces in this set and five minifigures, and here they are. This is minifigure number one, and she has two faces. She's a donut shop owner. So this is face number two. And her accessory is a coffee pot. This is the first policeman who's got a walkie-talkie. One face for this minifigure. And then this is the other policeman. This minifigure has one face and a set of handcuffs. And then we've got the donut thief slash news agent. So he's holding a donut on a string along with a newspaper that pretty ironically says donut thief still at large. And as we all know, it's him. And then we've got this police lady, she has two faces. This is face number one, and this is face number two. So here's everything you make after bag number one, which is just the base. And as you can see, the nice tiling on the floor of the donut shop, and there's a nice tunnel going on over the back of there where the cell would be, which is really cool. This is the end of bag number two. So you can see counter, and we started building it up. And here's the newspapers. So it says Donut Thief Still Hungry and it says Stack of Donuts in the back there. So it's pretty clear who's been stealing all the donuts. <laughs> I just love the detailing of the donut shop here. There's some nice little tray with some, what I'm guessing is muffins and donuts and a coffee pot and a till. The only thing is these tile pieces are just hanging on by one stud. So some of them are a bit loose. So just be careful of that when you place any minifigures in. Then this is the end of bag three and four. Sorry, I forgot to film bag three, but basically you build up all the walls of the donut shop, including the donut area of the back there with the cups and everything. And on the front, you build all of the really nice, beautiful shop front details. And then inside the police station, you've got that nice little front desk with the call bit, some stairs, a nice little back um, entrance way, um, a water drug standard, to be perfectly honest. I love this phone. It's really cool. And then you start building the cell. So we've got like a toilet as well as a bed there ready to go. This is the end of bag number five. So as you can see, the front of the police station is done as well as the side of the jail cell, which is pretty cool. On the side, you've got a clock and a place to put some of the accessories like the walkie talkies or maybe even the handcuffs. And then once you've done bag number six, you've pretty much started to tile off like all the top ends um, you make the roof for the news agent stand. You've got these really cool bushes at the front as well as a bench and the lamppost. So yeah, it's, it's getting ready now to build the second floor, which is pretty cool. The jail cell there has got its door finally. So, you know, we can lock away our prisoner. And when you build low, up and lower the bed, you can see the secret passageway in and out. Bag number seven builds the first bit of the floor, including the hole where the donut thief can steal the donuts. It's got a cool record player and a bed and a rug. And on the other side, you've got this whole photo screen area for the mugshot. When you've done bag number eight, you've finished the kitchenette area of this little apartment above the donut shop, as well as the railings on the outside. Bag number nine includes the two desks for the police stations, as well as the board, which you make all the images and deciphering things up. And then this is the next bit. So this is the next floor. So this is bag number nine, I believe now we're on. And, or eight or nine. And when the first thing you do is build a cassette tape because that is the interrogation room. We've got a little kitchenette area on the side, which the first thing you do is build a roof for, which is pretty cool. We've got another loo upstairs as well, which is pretty nice. Something you don't really think about. And then once you've finished, you start building up the rest of it. You've got this pretty nice, um, lighting outside you've got the finished interrogation room there which is pretty cool the bird with the donut on the outside is absolutely hilarious because it's just adding to the story features and the final bag builds the roof with the antenna and the water butt on top of the donut shop and finishing the foliage as well as all the tile pieces so this is everything called together it was 169 pound 99 and i think it's pretty good considering the store the amount of storytelling um story and play features you've got in this it's really quite cool i love the fact that we've got five minifigures and they just all look fantastic the hidden details in all of this including the um 
tunneling out of under the jail cell is just hilarious and brilliant. I just really like it. I do think it is worth the money. Obviously, this is not a simple purchase. It's a very expensive purchase, but you do get really good insider points when you do purchase it. So that's worth something to think about, maybe. Um, and yeah, everything just looks brilliant and fantastic. I just wish I could show it off a bit more. I'm hoping these images are justifying it. But in today's Lego Advent City calendar, we've got a child minifigure today who has a mobile phone, along with a dog cookie, it looks like, which is pretty neat. And in the Star Wars one, we got Princess Leia, which is pretty cool today. Um, I'm very excited to have her. She's got two faces. This is face number one. And she's also holding a cookie. And this is like the Endor type outfit she wears and then this is the second face of her and this is everything we've built so far in the star wars calendar but yeah overall i think the playstation is definitely worth it and i think people should grab it because it is retiring in december so if you want it now is the time to grab it 